everybody, welcome to Backshop Electric. My name is Steve, and I'm super excited to tell you about a project that I've worked on. It's been a couple months since I actually did it, but I wanted to share it with you. I turned my Tesla Model S seats out of my first gen Model S into office chairs. And I gotta say, the first gen seats for the Model S don't have a good reputation of being very comfortable in the car, but I gotta tell you, they're pretty awesome office chairs. And if you get the chance, stop by evorigins.com. It's my friend Justin's website where he sells EV-centric t-shirts, hats, and accessories and stuff like that. Just started a new t-shirt called the Made on Earth by Humans t-shirt. Kind of highlights all the stuff that Tesla and SpaceX are doing right now. It's pretty cool. I haven't gotten it yet, but I did get this t-shirt there. So go over to evorigins.com and check it out. So let's go check out how we turn these seats into office chairs. Now, before we get started, I wanted to let you know that you're gonna need to have a certain type of seat in order to do this pretty easily. And that seat is a passenger seat from a first gen Model S or a next gen seat. The primary difference is in the base of the seat where you can see that the first gen seat has a rounded cutout between the legs and the next gen seat has a more squared off cutout in the fabric. Now it's very important that you understand that you need those two types of seats because any seat after those two were uh, the passenger seat and the driver's seat had a computer on them and the switch mechanism on the side of the seat is not as simple as the first gen or next gen seats. The primary difference between a next gen seat and a third gen seat is the third gen seat has a headrest right here that moves up and down. So if you have one of those, you can still do this project, but it's far more complicated than if you were to use a passenger seat from a first gen or next gen seats. Another thing you're gonna to need to have is a 12 volt battery, either a car battery, a motorcycle battery, or like a power sports battery. So the items that you're gonna to have to buy to make this project a success are, we'll start from the bottom. I bought roller blade wheels that roll pretty easily on the surface out here in the garage and in the driveway. Um, I bought a plastic seat base, that's the five-legged base that the wheels attach to. I got a really short vertical adjustment cylinder that adjusts to about two and a half inches, I think, if I recall correctly. And the seat mount that actually attaches the seat to the chair base assembly. The other parts that I bought are hardware from Lowe's, and I got some three-quarters inch square tube with an eighth inch sidewall. And this is pretty important stuff because this is what actually attaches the seat to that um, chair mount that I was just talking about. So pretty exciting. Let's go check it out. On this plug right here, this, there's only one big square connector. There is a yellow connector here. This is the ABS plug. Do not mess with it. Just tuck it up. We're going to end up zip tying underneath here. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, but the black, the big black connector here, the big rectangle black connector has got a large red wire and a large black wire. The red wire is your positive, the black wire is your negative. You hook that up to your battery that I talked about earlier and you'll be able to do all the adjustments that you need to do. Here we go. And we need to extend the seat all the way out. This is the up adjustment to get the bottom as far up as it can be. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna access the, there's four nuts, one, two, three, four, on either side, one, two, three, four. You're gonna take those off. You're gonna need a 13 millimeter socket, like I have here, and that's how you're gonna take it off. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the four and a half adjustment rail right now. So this is the last nut right here. Okay, so there's eight of them, four on the left, four on the right. So now all we gotta do is there's an uh, electrical connector right here we need to disconnect. It's pretty uh, straightforward if you know your electrical connectors. And now it should be ready to pop off. So I'm gonna lift the seat up to get some stress off this guy. And here we go. Oh, there's two plugs. <laughs> Forgot the light, that little guy. That little guy, don't worry about that little guy. We don't need this anymore. You can either try and sell it on eBay. You're not gonna get anything for it because I tried. Or uh, you can chuck it in the recycling. That's what's gonna happen. In order to make this pretty easy for you guys to see, I've got the vertical adjustment cylinder right here and I've got the seat base right here. Um, I've got hardware, I need four two and a half inch bolts that are 5 16 in diameter. 
And we always use, I always use uh, um, washers on all of my hardware. So we're gonna slide these through. I'm gonna do the uh, front one, or actually this is the back first. And all we do is we take, we put the short one on first. Remember this is, a, I think it's eight and a half inches is what I said earlier. And we slide this guy on here, like so. And then take the bigger piece right here. And for your finished product, you're gonna to wanna to paint it to make sure it looks nice. Now look how easy that looks on here, right? You see that? It's actually pretty, pretty good um, stuff here. Then we take a washer. And whenever I'm using, I always try and use nylock washers. If you're not familiar with these, they got a, a fastener or a, a safety mechanism in there that's a nylon that crushes, that stops the nut from coming off. I thought that was pretty important for, you know, since these things will be moving around and whatnot. So we bolt that on there and then we'll tighten them down with our trusty ratchet and our wrench. And actually I'm gonna use a power tool because why not, I got them. If you got power tools, you might as well use them. I got my trusty uh, impact driver here. And um, the thing is about this, you don't wanna make it too tight right away. Even though it's pretty straight, you wanna have a little bit of flex in here. That way when you get it on the seat, you can adjust it and then do a final tight. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and tighten the sucker down. We got a little bit of play in there so we can do what we got to do. So this is what it looks like at the end. All right. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the assembly that we just put together with the seat base, the brackets, and the vertical adjustment tube. Now it's very important to remember that this part goes on the front right here. This is the return spring that brings the seat to the upright position after you lean back in it. So we're gonna go ahead, oh, and actually it's clearly marked right here you can't kind of see it, but it says front right here. So you want to remember that when you put it together because otherwise the chair will dump you off the front and it's pretty awkward. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put it together. We've got these bolts right here. These are inch and a half bolts. These are long enough to go through the seat, go through the bracket here and provide for the uh, nylock nut that we had and washer, just like we had on the, the setup here. So we're gonna put it together. Remember, it goes on the second and fourth holes for the vertical adjustment part of the seat right here. That's the second from the front and fourth from the front. So everything's loosely put together. We're just gonna tighten it down with our handy power tools. You see what I'm doing here? You gotta make sure you use a socket on this one. There's a little bit of a cup right here. All right, we got the seat right here. We've got the base right here. The assembly is already attached to this, so all we gotta do is transfer the seat from the bench here down to the base on the floor with the wheels in it. Super easy to put in, and I've got my battery standing by to do the final adjustments on it so it's super comfy to sit in. I'm really excited about this part because this is where it all comes together. Grab this guy right here. And slide it in like so. And all we gotta do is adjust it now. So I've got power hooked up to the seat here and I'm just gonna adjust it down. Now you're gonna wanna adjust it till the seat is as flat and as low as it can be. That's typically how most office chairs are. We're gonna get it flat, bring down the front here a little bit. Takes a little bit of time to do that, yep. 
but you want it as low and as flat as it can be. And you're gonna to wanna to recline it back to the place that you want it. You might wanna give it a fit um, and, and check it out. You can always sit in it. And there we go. That's actually a pretty comfy seat. So I'm gonna unplug my cable here, clear those wires. And there we go, we got our seat. And if you can see, it's pretty well balanced. You can lean back in it all the way and it won't topple over backward, which is pretty important if you're gonna use this in the, your garage or your office environment or wherever you wanna do it. And that's why I like doing these videos because it's fun for me. And hopefully you guys get to learn something and make something in your own project. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by the Back Shop Electric, checking out this uh, video of how to make Tesla seats into office chairs. I'm pretty excited about them. And if you've got any questions, you can hit me at info at backshopelectric.com or you can leave some comments in the section below. Also, if you would, please hit the like and subscribe button if they're in that order, I can't remember. Uh, but that gives me a little bit of feedback of how I'm doing on these videos and it kind of gives me a chance to connect with y'all. Also, make sure you stay tuned for new videos. The next thing I'm working on is I've got a solar panel that I'm turning into a coffee table that will also charge a battery that um, gives charge ports for cell phones and stuff like that. It's pretty cool, I'm pretty excited about it. So make sure you like and subscribe and all that stuff and we'll see you around the back shop. Oh yeah, let's see here. That's what I call a good seat. We gotta turn the, the there we go. Wait, wait. Where is the adjustment on it? Huh. Put it on backward. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. I totally did it backward. <laughs> now it's very important to remember that this part goes on the front. Actually, it's clearly marked right here. You can't kind of see it, but it says front right here. So you want to remember that when you put it together because otherwise the chair will dump you off the front and it's pretty awkward.